This is the 7800X3D, my personal pick for the ultimate gaming CPU in 2024. With 8 cores, 96 megabytes L3 cache, and priced around 370 to 400, it's a powerhouse. And this is its little sibling, the newly released 5700X3D. At $249, it's a budget-friendly option that still packs a punch, especially for Tarkov. The biggest strength about it for me is its compatibility with the AM4 platform, which dates back to 2016. So it makes it a seamless upgrade for existing users without needing any pricey upgrades. In previous videos, I've shown that the X3D does not require a high-end motherboard or fast RAM. And whether you're on a 5600X, a 3600, or even an Athlon, the 5000 X3D series is a game changer for existing AM4 owners. So if you're interested in upgrading right now and are wondering about how these two CPUs stack up in Tarkov, then I think this information will be useful for you. I've created a nominal run to test CPUs here, and I've basically been running different machines through to gather more data and eventually be able to compare it all easily. For those of you wondering why I'm running 1080 low with a GPU like the 4090, it is to put the least amount of strain on the GPU and direct that load over to the CPU. This is a CPU specific test, so if you're interested in seeing how far the 4090 can be pushed by these chips, feel free to go look at the video description. And I have various playlists listed here where you can see live raids and tons of configurations. So in this test, the 7800X3D was leading an average FPS by over 100 and in the 1% category by about 75 FPS. The CPU FPS per 10 watts on the 7800X3D is around 75 and the 5800X3D is around 60. When we take the GPU, the AI, server latency, and other players out of the equation, the 7800X3D represents about a 30% performance increase over the 5700X3D. And that's pretty much in line with what I've been seeing with my previous tests. So that's pretty encouraging to see for me personally, to see that that estimation was correct in numbers. To take it a step further, I've done comparisons of the 5600X3D, the 5700X3D, and the 5800X3D. In Tarkov, basically they're going to perform about the same. The 5600X3D is maybe even better because it's going to draw even less power and give you pretty much the same performance. This is the reason why I think that the 5700X3D is a new budget gaming champ. It would be the 5600X3D, except that it's not widely available, only at brick and mortar micro center locations, which is not really accessible for everyone. But if you are fortunate enough to be near one, then the 5600X3D is 1A, because it is cheaper, it's 229 retail, as opposed to the 5700X3D's 249. So on streets, we're seeing something like a 20% increase in performance for the newer 7800X3D. So the gap has closed a little bit once we take it to streets. So whether it was offline or online, the performance gap stays around 20 to 30%. And like I said earlier, that's consistent with what I've been telling users asking questions about the difference and also consistent with the performance tests I've done in the past so far on my channel. So I think it's amazing that AMD is still releasing not only relevant but very good CPUs for the AM4 platform which was released in 2016 and it's now 2024. There are a lot of users with older systems like 3000 series, 2000 series, even Athlons that could benefit from just literally dropping in an X3D without buying a new motherboard, without changing the RAM out, there will be a significant performance increase. Sometimes doubling performance on otherwise five to eight year old systems. That's amazing. So that's what I wanted to share in this one. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time here. 
I don't take that lightly and I try to fill my videos with useful content and information. I hope you found it helpful, informative, or entertaining in some way. Every single like, every single comment, even every single view is another step toward my dream of creating content full time. So from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to say thank you. And this is where I'll drop off. I'll let the rest of the footage play. There's about a minute remaining. I'm going to continue the grind here and I hope to see you in the next one.